Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davey, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody? Hell yeah, brother. We're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. Now, surely they won't follow us, right? We've been worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Aye, aye, Captain. Come on, Arthur. That's one hell of a speech, right. brother. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have had down the And that's a giga hill. storm if I've ever seen one. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. Oh, we're riding. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Bro, I wonder how the horses are feeling, dog. Horses are probably suffering right now. Okay, let's head down there. Sir, something tells me we're about to get in some danger. Hello. Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Bailey. Hello. Come here, Bailey. Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. <laughs> ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> Got a problem. There's a corpse right here. Oh shit. No, I, I just Aren't need there? some. There's a body food in the wagon. No, I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go. Oh, I got a cattleman revolver. Nice. Aiming down. Ready to fire. Now, Wait for it. I am kind of desperate. Wait for hey. it. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. It's goddamn Dutch Vandal and your mor- I got him. We've been, we've been made. I suck at controller aiming, so this will be fun. You ain't getting me, boy. Peek your head. Oh shit, there's another one. I like stab you. Wait, hold up. Leave him. He won't last out there by himself. That's my boy, Arthur. Good shooting. I had to make sure that there was no other way. He's like, this goddamn Dutch Vanderlyn. Wait, Dutch was in Red Dead Redemption 1, right? But he was already like a villain at that like point, party. right? Or am I going crazy? Because I thought for yeah, sure we saw him in Red Dead Redemption 1. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Yes, sir. What else have we got in this godforsaken barn? I don't feel like there's somebody else hiding here. I knew it. <laughs> Oh, fucking I'm fucking doing it. 
You got, you got a fucking problem, bitch? You got a fucking problem, bitch? Come on. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Thank you, little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Not yet, huh? Find out what they're doing here. Come here. Where's Como Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. Keep talking, bitch. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> nah, you know something. You better tell me well, something. I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. Mm. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please, please spare me. Fine. I'll spare you. Go, motherfucker. Or I change my mind. I'm too much of a, too much of a nice person in this game, dude. I don't. I'm never like the type of person that will actually like murder like an NPC or anything like that, dude. You just feel too bad. I mean, even though it's a game, I just feel bad. I just, I feel bad. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm. I need to get used to like holding down stuff here. Whoa. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, Driscoll, bitch! Whoa, there, Jethro. <laughs> Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. <laughs> oh, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you... <laughs> oh, you fool! Michael! All right, nice. Set the house on fire. That's definitely going to help. be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Wait, is this one of those games where you making okay, decisions Miss actually Betty? matter too? Three days ago, and my husband, they. <laughs> Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. Come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. We're bad men. Oh, we nice. <laughs> We're bad it's men, okay. but hey. Better than dying a storm, you know, right? We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Sadie Mrs. Adler. He... He was my husband. I don't know why, but... Something about girls with like... In like a raspy-ass voice... This hot. I don't know. That's all I just wanted to say. Just something about a raspy-ass voice.